starting now. See, good connection. Just waiting for the other people to join. Waiting for waiting for people to join in. Come on in, come on in. They probably like Thursday. Huh? Thursday? Hello. Come on in, y'all. <coughs> Come on in. Come on in. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. I wish I could see. I wish I could like. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, come on in, please, come on in. I'm not going to be long today. Um, I wanted to come up here to give you guys a word before I went to Bush Gardens. So I wanted to bring you guys something tonight since um, I'm a day late. Uh, so... I'm going to get started right about now. So, um, today I have two scriptures for you guys today. And I'm going to start with my first scripture, which is Luke 6, 37. So, somebody could please drop that in the comments for me. Luke 6 and 37. Luke chapter 6, verse 37. And see if I can somebody please drop it in comment. thank you Luke 6 and 37 it says do not judge others and you will not be judged do not condemn others or it will all come back against you forgive others and you will be forgiven so let me read that one more time it says do not judge others and you will not be judged do not condemn others or it will all come back against you. Forgive others and you will be forgiven. That is Luke 6 and 37. All right. Now, my second strip. Ugh, I said, what was it? the word? My second scripture <laughs> that I have tonight is Romans 8 and 1. It says, So now there. Oh, sorry, y'all. I usually tell y'all to drop it in the comments. Excuse me. Drop it in the comments, y'all. Romans 8 and 1. Romans 8 and 1. Romans 8 and 1. Please drop it in the comments. Romans 8 and 1. <coughs> Romans 8 and 1. Both of these are coming from New Living Translation. So, Romans 8 and 1 states, so now there is no condemnation <clears throat> for those who belong to Jesus, to Christ Jesus, excuse me. You ever see like Jesus Christ in the Bible and then it's like written backwards, Christ Jesus. And then you just automatically say like Jesus Christ. That's how it is. That's how it was this time. Okay, so I'm going to read it one more time. It says, so now there is no condemnation for those who belong to Christ Jesus. Okay. <clears throat> so if you guys haven't guessed yet i am going to be talking about being judged today tonight right so i'm going to read from my notes <clears throat> i have notes written down that i um written down this morning because i got my word for you guys this morning while i was sitting in my car waiting to go inside of work so i had to write it down as you guys can see it's all written down on my phone okay so it goes Hey y'all, so I have this message that I received this morning, as I got, as I told you guys. Um, I'm kind of a day late, but I had to come up here and share this message because um, God laid it on my heart. Um, I was on my way to work this morning and I was listening to um, 
if you guys don't know what 92.5 is it's a gospel station on fm so you know how am is a little staticky fm is 92.5 so i was listening to 92.5 and there was a pastor that came up there it was a lady pastor and she said something that really stood out to me something that i believe that we all need to hear it spoke to me and the holy spirit always seems to um bring stuff about myself show me stuff about myself and once i see that and i get that revelation thank you and i get that revelation excuse me y'all my throat is dry <laughs> and i get that revelation about you know and things that i'm dealing with in my life i bring it to you guys because he always tells me to share so the holy spirit always always seemed to reveal things to me about myself and then tells me to share so the pastor said stop talking to the enemy um those people who try to belittle you and even accuse you of doing th something that is out of your character or simply the people that speak on your down downfalls and your sins don't even you don't even have to respond the enemy wants you to feel discouraged or like you aren't good enough or like because you have sinned, god doesn't love you which is definitely a lie so start bringing your downfalls and your sins to God. Start praying about them and stop going to other people and talking about, you know, the, the things that you have done that aren't right. Bring them straight to God because everybody doesn't have a genuine heart. Everybody does not have your best interest at heart, even the closest people to you. Everybody does not have your best, best interest at heart. So talk to God about your problems. Be careful of the people that condemn that condemn you, that judge you, that criticize you, and that cause you to feel less than what and who you are. The enemy is doing nothing but using them to make you feel less of yourself. So it's not them, it's the enemy speaking to them and using them to get to you. I lost myself, okay. You don't even have to respond or entertain them. Just continue to talk to God and let him handle your situations. Sometimes it's not good to go and vent and tell your business because everyone does not have your best interest at heart, right? So be careful who you tell your business, your goals, your dreams, and everything that you decide that you want to do in life, everything that God gives you that you want to do in life. The enemy is always going to come and try to tell you that you can't do it or is not your mission or that's not where you're supposed to be going but if god told you that keep it amongst yourself honey and do what god told you to do okay so that's all i have for tonight it was a very quick message um like i said i, I wrote it down this morning it was placed on my heart this morning and i had to come up here and share it with you guys before i went out to bush garden so with that being said i'm going to pray for you guys tonight i don't know who that word was for but definitely had to come out here and share it so i'm gonna pray with you guys tonight i mean why i keep saying tonight this evening this evening all right so bow your head close your eyes dear god i thank you lord for letting us know that we don't have to worry about being judged because you are the last judge and you are the only one that can judge us for anything that we have done and even then you do it in a way that you care and that you show that you love us and you correct us in our wrongs lord and we thank you lord for the many things that you are doing in our lives we thank you lord for being able to have confidence through you lord and being able to have peace through you and we thank you lord for everything that you that you have given me to bring to the people that are here on this live. I thank you, Lord, for being able to um, use me to touch somebody else. And we just thank you, Lord, and cover us, Lord, as we go wherever we go, Lord. Wherever we go tonight, wherever we go this weekend, Lord, we ask you, Lord, that you cover us on this 4th of July weekend. And we just thank you, Lord, for everything that you are doing. We thank you, Lord, for being you. And in Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right. All right. So, um, <clears throat> I love you guys and I will see you guys soon. I will see you guys next Wednesday. All right. So we love you guys and have a blessed night and see you guys soon. Love you.